Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Map. This is Srinivas Reddy. In this video session, we'll discuss about how to write the formulas in pivot table. Means uh, we cannot write like a VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, but we'll do small calculations in the pivot table. We'll see how to do in this video session. See, after creating the pivot table, just go to Analyze tab. So in the Analyze tab, there is Calculations group. In the Calculations group, there is an option called Fails, Items and Sets. Just click on that. You will get option Calculated Failed. So Fails, Items and Sets. Just click on Calculated Failed. Now you can give any name here. So go to Name. So that is called Field Name. Just click Column Name. I am giving like a average sales. So go to the formula. You can write anything is equal to don't type just select it and insert field revenue by select the sales. Click on insert field revenue by sales. Now you will get the average sales. Just click on add. Then OK. See automatically that average sales column failed was created and uh, it was added to the fails. Now we'll get the data also. See sum up revenue, sum up average sales, uh, sum up like all the data. Next, if you don't want, just remove the sum up average sales. Just now we are using how to create the formulas in the pivot table. That's it. That's what I'm not using this into the values. So like this, we'll create the formulas in pivot table. Just we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication also. And we'll see another example. See here, there is a sales report. In the sales report, there are product customer quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, like so on data is there. Now, first of all, create the pivot table. Go to insert, click on pivot table. Now you can say, okay. See, just product into the rows, quarter one into the values, quarter two into the values, like uh, what are the columns you want? You can add into the values or columns or rows. After that, go to Analyze the tab, Calculations group, Fails, Items, and Sets, Calculated Failed. Actually, what I'm thinking, just uh, quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4, 4 columns, 4 fails are there. Now here, I want to do sum of all the quarters. So normally, people will ask like this, uh, quarter 1 is A, quarter 2 is B, quarter 3 is uh, C, quarter 4 is D. You can do A plus B plus C by 2 D. Like this kind of scenarios, this kind of equations they will ask. So here, I want to do sum of these 4 quarters. Now here the name I am giving just quarters. I am not writing like sum because by default you will get sum of quarters, so average of quarters, so count of quarters automatically. So that's just give name quarters only. Now write the formula is equal to quarter 1 insert plus quarter 2 insert field plus quarter 3 insert field plus quarter 4 insert field. See, without typing, just I am adding. The name is quarters and the formula is quarter 1 plus quarter 2 plus quarter 3 plus quarter 4. After that, just click on add. Then you can say, okay. See, here we got sum of quarters. In the fields also, we got sum of quarters. If you don't want, you can remove from this. See, like this, we'll write the formulas in the pivot table. That option is there in the fields, items, and assets calculated field, give any name and you can write any formula here so that you can add that extra field into the pivot table. So friends, this is how to write the formulas in pivot table. Thank you friends for watching this video.